What did Queen Elizabeth II's famous aquamarine tiara used to look like? Even in a world of strict traditions and restrictions, there can be room for unconventional solutions. It seems to me that Elizabeth II boasted admirable taste and knew how to choose iconic jewelry. Among her vast array of jewelry, there was one tiara that I wanted to talk about today. Over the decades, this tiara has changed and even become smaller, more like a bandeau, but has always looked unusual. Take a look at what this unique set looks like. November 1967. The Queen and her husband are on an official visit to Malta. For the couple, this corner of the world has always been an amazing and very personal place. It was here that the happiest years of their lives together were spent, when Elizabeth was still a princess and her husband served in the navy. It was only here that the future queen could live a simple life, let herself be walked on, and be herself. And now she is back as queen. On the first evening of her visit, a grand banquet was held at Valletta Palace. The host was the Governor General of Malta, Sir Maurice Henry Dorman. He held the position from 1964 to 1971. Prior to that time, the official had been the Governor General of Sierra Leone. I can't help but notice how stunning the dress the Queen is wearing, but her jewelry deserves special attention. There are several decorations on Elizabeth II, the Order of the Garter, as well as the royal family orders of her father, King George VI, and of her grandfather, King George V. But what can be considered particularly unique is the aquamarine jewelry from the personal collection of Elizabeth II. These pictures show them still in their original, though already restored, setting. What is this set? In 1953, the President of Brazil gave Elizabeth a set, earrings, and necklace of aquamarine for her coronation. The Queen liked the set so much that in 1957, she ordered a tiara from the House of Gerard to match the set. Another year later, the set was enlarged as it was complemented with a bracelet. The original version also had a pendant on the necklace, but Elizabeth II did not always wear it. By the 70s, the set had been modified. The pendant from the necklace was used as the centerpiece for a large tiara, which could also be worn as a bandeau. The center stone could also be used as a pendant for the necklace. It was in this updated version that the jewelry was seen on Elizabeth II during her visit to Mexico in 2009. It seems to me that this set was worn by the Queen only at exceptional moments when events or visits were pleasing to her. <laughs>